Hi, I'm Luke with Arrowhead Rifles. Going to run through a quick how-to to set up a swaging die for sizing bullets to a 45 caliber barrel with no sabo. So what we've got here is a 7 8 wrench for adjusting the sizing die. Uh, the sizing die is in a Lee hand press. I like the Lee hand press because when you're setting the die up, it's nice to dial it in on a foul bore which means shooting it at the range, so this, this can go with you to the range. Once the die's settled in, you can size all the bullets you want at home, but until then, it's handy to have the die there with the gun when you're getting it set up. Uh, we've got a few bullets. Today we're gonna use the 300 grain Arrowhead XLD, their 452 caliber bullet. Uh, we've got a ramrod, and then we've got a barrel here. We're using a TC barrel today, but this how, how you set up the die works for a bolt action and break action. Uh, any type of muzzle loader. So the die comes with 40 hash marks and is set at zero. The zero setting is 452 caliber. Uh, as far as what die setting, I always get that question what size bullet. Well, every, every barrel is different. The Encore barrels with the preferred blanks are typically running a 13 to a 17, somewhere in that neighborhood. The Brooks and Bartland barrels are running anywhere from an 8 to a 12. If you end up outside of that range and you're getting the consistent one-handed loading pressure, don't worry about it, just go and shoot the gun. It's not a big deal. So to start with, uh, this is a preferred blank. Uh, just for educational purposes, I'm gonna start a little bit short and work into the bullet. So we'll take the die. And I expect to end up around 15 on this barrel, but we're going to start with, we'll go to 10. I like to run the bullets through three times. Uh, one time works. Uh, the die setting will be different if you settle on a one or two or a three pass setting. Uh, the reason I like three passes, uh, if you size a bullet with one pass and then come back three or four weeks later, a lot of times there'll be some spring back and that bullet that felt fit really good three or four weeks ago is gonna be kinda tight. Doing three passes, seems to alleviate the spring back some. So we're at uh, ten, the 10 setting on the die. We'll see how that goes. So that, that's not, it kinda starts, but it's, it's pretty tight. So we're not even gonna try and get that down the barrel. So we'll go back to the die here, and it's, it's on the 10 setting right now. It wasn't very close, so we'll, we'll go two more notches to 12, and just kinda try and walk, walk it in. Since the bullet's already gone through three times, I'll just do a couple of passes on this adjustment. Let's see where we're at. So we're getting closer, but that you can still feel quite a bit of resistance there. All right, so at the 12 setting, this bullet was a little tight. If you get a bullet like this, that you kind of think it's gonna go, but it ends up being tight, don't try and push it all the way through. Just come back to the breech here and pop, pop the bore out. Now we are setting this on a clean bore. Once you've taken three or four shots, the bore is going to foul and you'll need a smaller bullet to get through. So don't set your die on a clean barrel and then size up a bunch of bullets and go to the range. Uh, you're going to end up tight when you go to load after you've taken your first couple shots and you get some following. following. So that, that feels really about where you want it. You see, I wasn't struggling to get it down even though I'm working up above my head uh, with one hand. This is a clean bore. So I suspect once we take a couple of shots at the range, we're gonna get, wanna go maybe one notch tighter, maybe a notch and a quarter uh, to shoot on the foul bore. Uh, if you go too loose, uh, the one thing to keep in mind, there's the way the insert works, The this, it doesn't always open up. So if you say you're at 15, or you, say you go to 17 and the bullet's too loose, you want to back it off to 16. I crank the die out to like five or 10 and then bring it back in to 16 because it gives the metal a chance to relax. Where if you just go from 17 to 16, you might end up pushing a couple bullets back before the die settles in. So that's how you set up the smooth sizing die. This allows us to go bullet to bore, no sabo, which yields 
higher speeds, better consistency, and you don't have to worry about the plastic getting soft when the weather's hot and you take more than two shots in five minutes. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, the dies are available for purchase through my website, www.arrowheadrifles.com, or give me a follow on Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook under the username Arrowhead Rifles for more pictures and other fun content. Thanks again for watching.